and that and that when that happens, if people don't stop, you know, helping us try to find Kaylee. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't know. I'm just getting. I'm getting pretty worried. Like we're reaching out to. I said so today. After I I had it out with um, the lead detective Yuri, I had it out with him uh-huh. yesterday. Like. My mom and dad, we, we're getting tips and stuff on our phones. We're just trying to tell people, listen, call the call the line, call the line, whatever. Don't yeah. don't inundate us because we don't have the resources to do it. Yeah. And um, man, my mom and dad got a tip in the same day for two different people, and they're conflicting. Number one, but they were both adamant that this tip, this is a good tip. You know, yeah. one that my dad got was like Casey's, or excuse me, that Kaylee is in. Uh, this foster care type place where they've got like four houses it's in Chuliota and they're moving around these different mm-hmm. locations and stuff and I'm like okay and then my mom gets this tip about uh, Atlanta, Georgia that you know this lady saw Kaylee get on a plane on July 2nd and you know they were from here and they're, they're going to Georgia and all this stuff and I'm like okay well I ask each of them did, that, did they call the police? well no do you see a problem with that? <laughs> Number one, if they want to go to the family, they can't go to the police. How credible are they really? If they really want to help somebody, yeah. you know, why don't they go to the people that can actually help? Like, we yeah. can't, I can't go to Chuliota to four fucking houses and, and kick a door in and see if, if Kaylee's there. I can't, I don't know where they went in Georgia. This was two weeks, well, it's longer than that now. This was all this time ago. Like, so it pissed me off and I got my parents to say, listen, are you going to send this stuff to the police or not? Because I'm tired of trying to, like, you know, maintain this if you guys aren't going to do what you're supposed to be doing. So right. I got them to say, you know, we'll make sure that we don't take any more information for tips. We'll make sure everything gets escalated to them and we won't handle it ourselves and, and yada, yada. And I said, well, good. They said the only stipulation is we want to be able to meet with somebody close to the case, the detective, someone from missing persons, anybody... Mm. At least once every two days, just so, even for an hour, just so we can go over, you know, if we got ideas, if we have whatever, uh, or new information, because no one's talking to us still, you know, unless we call yeah. them. So, you know, you and I talked for like 30 minutes, and he was trying to talk to me about how all the leads that he's getting haven't panned out, and all this stuff. And I'm trying to say, well, what are you trying to insinuate that you're not going to look at new leads just because the old ones haven't been good yet? I'm yeah. like, that's pretty. That sounds pretty stupid to me. I was like, unless you know something that I don't, you've got your mind made up about something. Right. You know, so I'm trying to push him and say, I tell you, what's tell me wrong. something. You know, but of course, you know that that's not going to happen. Um, but I mean, I just kind of had it out with him because he's talking about well. You know, if you realize if we come and we talk to you guys for an hour, that's one that less hour we can follow up on tips. And I was like, well, how you just described to me, it sounded like you weren't even going to follow up on to begin with. It sounds like we're going doing this for an hour. I'm like, you know. Jeez. So I just, I'm feeling what my parents were feeling about them worried that they're more worried about building a case about against Casey instead of actually looking for Kaylee mm-hmm. and following up on all those leads and tips and stuff. So I sat with another detective today that's outside of the case and um I like him and I hope that he's gonna you know I sat with him for like four hours today I actually Mm -hmm. missed my sister's hearing for it because I thought it was important you know I thought someone else needed to be looking at it from an outside set of eyes he's like I'm not worried about the car he's like I'm not worried about all the stuff he goes all I want to do he goes I want to track where your sister was from from the end of May mm-hmm. through the whole month of June and until the day, you know, until the 15th when we know where she was after that point on. He goes, but I want to know where she was, what she was doing, and all this stuff. He goes, because that's going to indicate, you know, who she's lying to, who she's telling the truth to, you know, if, was she really looking for Kaylee like she said she was? Yeah. You know, all this stuff. He was like, this is what I need to find out. And he's right. I mean, that's kind of the stuff that I've been doing anyway, kind of like putting a timeline together and saying, you know, all right, she went here this day and she spent an hour at Target and she, you know, bought all this shit. Or she went here this day and she went to a movie. She would, she did this. And, I mean, we've pretty much found out that she definitely didn't work unless she did something that, you know, for you. Yeah. But, you know, she didn't even, I mean, honestly, it wasn't even like that, like, <laughs> right, she said she was doing work on a laptop, you know. 
which you you remember that night how we couldn't even get onto it. Yeah, that was. I don't understand. How do you remember how recent that was? She was using it that day. She was using it that day. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I had that, that same thing happen to me um, with my computer like two years ago. And the way it happens is it downloaded. A, I downloaded a virus supposedly. Yeah. You know, I had to take it to Best Buy because I was like, I don't know what happened, and they cleaned it up, and they're like. Number one, they had to reset everything because they right. said all your data is pretty much lost. But he's like, yeah, you downloaded a virus. He actually call, told me what it was called. I don't remember now, but, you know, trying to give me all that stuff. But, you know, that's that's shitty. I mean, the police don't have that, too. And it's yeah. my mom's laptop. Sorry, my sister. It's my oh, mom's she laptop. said it was her work laptop. Yeah, it's, it's my mom's laptop. My that. mom's digital camera. My mom's, you know, that big purse that she had? It's my yeah. mom's purse. Jeez. Like, it's, it's some pretty fucked up shit. Um, I just got random stuff. That's that some of it's new. I think that's why it's on top of my head. Some of it's probably old. Um, remember when I had mentioned to you, you know, check your, make sure you check your bank statements. Don't mm-hmm. you know, I missing did. checks and stuff. I Nothing. Did. No, I'm not missing any checks. Because there's a check. I know, I know a four that she wrote that were Amy's, but there's a fifth one, mm-hmm. and I can't figure out who's it's for. It's is not it, Amy's what, check. Um, what bank account? I don't know. Well, See, that's the thing. I'm going off of receipts. or Wachovia? See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm going off of receipts, okay? okay? And the receipts that I have, all it says is the form of payment and the amount. It doesn't actually tell me routing numbers and you know, or, or any of that where I'd be able to trace it back. So the only reason I know the other ones were Amy's is because I've talked to her. Yeah. And she said, yeah, this, these checks, these dates, and it matches. So I'm like, okay, check, check, check. And then when I bring this other one up to her thinking that's another one, it was yeah. the 12th of July, uh, it was a Winn-Dixie. It's like $92.86 or something like that. So, or $86.90, something like that. It was close to 100 bucks, And I don't know whose check that was. So I'm wondering if she took it from somebody else. It definitely wasn't mine because mm-hmm. I mean I checked as soon as that happened. Amy told me and I was like, <laughs> right, I'm checking this. <laughs> right, I don't. Well, I was worried it was money. Something on the t- right. Well, I was worried something on the twelfth. It may take a few days to post too. Right. So if you haven't checked it recently, I just double check. Yeah, sure. you're on ninety two bucks. I know where it is. <laughs> I know what it was used for. Well, it, you probably ate it because it was Winn Dixie. So yeah, probably ate <laughs> so it. So it sounds like you bought yourself groceries. <laughs> yeah, and be nice to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, but I don't know. So there's that. And um, had you ever met? I know I asked you that night if you ever heard of Jesse. Had you ever met Jesse prior to? Yeah, I met him at uh, Arden Villas, like, way back in the day for, like, two seconds. Okay. Because that's where, is that where he lives? I think so. I I don't know. I she said that, said she knew that there was her ex-boyfriend uh-huh. and that she's really good friends with now, and she brought him down, and he was, you know, I met him, really, that was it. I was doing some DJing gig at the pool. Okay. What's your, what was your impression of him? Just, he seemed all right. He was a quiet guy. Yeah, he just he just said you know it was a low you know what's up mm-hmm. right. He said he had to go out. He had to head back out. Right. So, because I'm just worried about him in a way, and it's I actually I talk to him every day too, and it's mm-hmm. it's just some of the stuff that he tells me, and some of the stuff that he doesn't tell me, or even the investigators just kind of. It rubs me the wrong way, you know? Okay. Like, he was engaged to my sister for over a year. Like, for a while there, my sister led us to believe that he was the father of Kaylee. Mm-hmm. Like, so there's there's a lot of history there. And, like, she's always told my parents, yeah, Jesse's still trying to get with me, but I'm, I'm not letting that happen. And Jesse always tells his parents, Casey's still trying to get with me, and I'm not letting that happen. When mm-hmm. in reality... They're still seeing each other on a semi-regular basis, at least a couple times a month. Like, it's not, it's not like it's anything new, you know what I mean? Right. So it's a reoccurring thing that they do? Absolutely. Absolutely. 